With 14 movies already on their slate, Marvel Studios has introduced a plethora of villains to their cinematic universe. Some of them have even become as beloved to fans as the heroes themselves, such as Tom Hiddleston's Loki and Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin. But coming in 2018 with Avengers Infinity War, Marvel Studios will formally introduce one of their most powerful villains yet, and his name is Thanos. The Mad Titans had a long, villainous history in the Marvel comics and has lurked in the shadows for several of the MCU films now. Finally, Thanos will step out of the shadows and wreak havoc on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He may be one of the most powerful entities in the Marvel Universe, when equipped with his Infinity Gauntlet, but did you know that there are some Marvel characters that could kill the Mad Titan in mere seconds? Today we'll be listing the characters that could obliterate Thanos if he wasn't wielding the Infinity Gauntlet with all six Infinity Stones. Some of these characters might even surprise you. Here are 5 Marvel characters who could defeat Thanos in seconds. 5. Franklin Richards The mutant son of Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman, Franklin Richards is so powerful that he even created his own pocket universe. He is considered by most fans to be the most powerful mutant in the Marvel Universe. In addition to his reality warping and cosmic abilities, Richards is also immortal. It was with the combined powers of Richards and Molecule Man that Mr. Fantastic rebuilt the Marvel Universe after the events of Secret Wars, 2015. Thanos doesn't stand a chance, as Richards could make him disappear with just a thought. Richards is so powerful that the Celestials, a race of god-like beings, classified him as being beyond Omega levels. He even single-handedly defeated two Celestials. The only way Thanos could defeat Franklin Richards is if he is wielding the Infinity Gauntlet. 4. Jean Grey, with the Phoenix Force Jean Grey with the Phoenix Force has proved to be one of the best superheroes in all of comics, as well as one of the most famous. She was depicted in X-Men, The Last Stand and briefly in X-Men, Apocalypse, but none of those cinematic portrayals compare to the Jean Grey of the comics. As the Phoenix she is able to, to manipulate matter and even control time. She can even resurrect herself and others. In the movies, especially in X-Men, Apocalypse, she is so powerful that only she was able to defeat Apocalypse. If Grey ever faced Thanos in a duel, Thanos would fall to the wrath of the Phoenix in seconds. Though the Phoenix Force is a sentient entity that can bond with any mortal being it desires, Jean Grey has shown to be its favorite host, making Jean Grey, even without the Phoenix Force, a very deadly foe indeed due to her cosmic link. 3. The Beyonder As previously mentioned, the Beyonder is near omnipotent, a being of unimaginable power. He exists outside of the multiverse and only came in contact with Earth's heroes after Owen Reese became the Molecule Man. After observing the Earth realm for some time, the Beyonder decided to intervene and created the first Secret Wars, where he took the best heroes and villains from Earth and put them to fight against each other in Battleworld. This version of the Beyonder was later retconned to be a less powerful entity created by Cosmic Cube Energy, with all of his extradimensional feats rewritten as mere illusions created by his psyche. It was later retconned that the Beyonder was actually both an inhuman and a mutant instead of deriving from a Cosmic Cube. Then he was later retconned to actually be a creation of the beings known as the Beyonders. Nevertheless, any iteration of the Beyonder can easily defeat Thanos without his Infinity Gauntlet in only seconds. 2. Sentry Robert Reynolds, also known as Sentry the Void, is essentially the Superman of the Marvel Universe. He possesses superhuman strength, speed, and stamina, as well as the ability to manipulate light and to become intangible, among other abilities. When Reynolds becomes Sentry, he also risks allowing the Void, the physical embodiment of his dark side, to resurface and cause havoc. During the Siege storyline, the Void took control of Sentry and killed Ares the God of War, by ripping him in half. After transforming back into Sentry, he asked Thor to kill him, and Thor later cremates him in the sun. He didn't die definitely, though. During Uncanny Avengers issue 9, 
2013, it was revealed that while Sentry was within the sun, he was dying and regenerating over and over again. In that issue he also became the horseman of death for the Apocalypse Twins. Given Sentry's almost unlimited powers, Thanos would instantly die in a fight against Sentry. 1. World Breaker Hulk After Hulk's pregnant wife died due to Hulk's spaceship exploding, he blamed the Illuminati and set a course for Earth. When he arrived to Earth's solar system, he first made a stop on the moon, defeating the Inhuman King, Black Bolt. He later led his wrath of destruction to the X-Mansion where he defeated the entire roster of the X-Men. He followed suit in Manhattan, where he single-handedly defeated Ghost Rider, Iron Man, and the Avengers, the Fantastic Four, Red Hulk, and even a demon-possessed Doctor Strange. After all seemed lost and New York was virtually destroyed, Earth's last hope was Sentry. During their battle, Hulk and Sentry almost destroyed the Earth. World War Hulk is one of the most acclaimed comic book series and gave us one of the strongest and most powerful iterations of Hulk we have ever seen. If World Breaker Hulk can defeat all of Earth's heroes without no sign of weakness, then Thanos is a mere punching bag for the Hulk. Who else can defeat Thanos without his Infinity Gauntlet in only seconds? Let us know in the comments.